For those of you in a hurry, at the bottom of the layers panel, the black and white circular icon, click on it, choose solid color, choose whatever color you like from the color picker, OK, and we are done. If you wish to edit this color, simply double click on the thumbnail within the layers panel, choose your new color, OK. Why would we potentially want to do this? Well, with the layer selected, change the blending mode to something like color, and we have a fantastic new look. Cool, okay guys, that was pretty fast. Why don't I slow things down a little bit and start again from scratch. Okay, I'm gonna jump over into this little square file that I have just here. Now what I'd like to do is show you two methods that a lot of you are going to be already using to fill your layers with color, and I want to show you why that's potentially not a great way to do things. So within the layers panel, at the bottom, let's hit this little plus icon to add ourselves a new layer. Over here in the tools panel, about halfway down, if I click and hold under the gradient tool, I can actually find the paint bucket tool. Yes, Photoshop does have a paint bucket tool. If I click on the foreground color chip just down here, I can choose a color, choose OK, click on my canvas, and I have happily filled the canvas with red. A second method, which a lot of you might be using, up under the edit menu, if I come down to fill, lots of great options in here actually guys. Under contents, we can choose foreground or background colors. 50% gray, fantastic for a lot of photographic techniques. But again, I'll just choose color. Let's, uh, let's pick this blue color. Okay, okay. And we have again successfully filled this layer with a different color. Now it's important to appreciate guys, both of these methods that I've showed you, they're actually filling this layer, layer one just here, with a color. Every single pixel within this layer has been colored. Now that's generally kind of fine, but there's two major reasons where this is going to be potentially a problem. If you want to change the color at a future date, you're going to have to repeat that process. Not that big a deal, but if you have to get very specific with your color changes, it could be problematic. But this is the main reason. I'm going to press C to bring up the crop tool. I'm going to drag out this right edge just here and then hit the tick mark to commit that crop. And check this out. If I turn off the visibility of the background layer, here is our big problem. We now have this giant empty space just here. So again, we would now have to repeat that fill process to get an entire layer filled with a specific color. Now I'm going to come up to File, Revert, and we're back where we started. And let's now go through the same process I showed quickly at the start of this video. So layers panel, the icon just down here, let's add our solid color. Let's just run with this, choosing OK. So a quick reminder, make sure I just press my V key to get rid of the uh, crop bounding box just there. To change the color, here inside of the layers panel, simply double click the thumbnail. We can dial in any color we like. I should point out guys, when we add one of these layers, you will by default generally get yourself a mask just here. As long as the mask is a solid white, you won't have any problems. You can happily keep it there, or you can actually just drag it down to the trash can and delete it, and again, no problems. Either way will work just fine. So we've already seen how easily we can change the color, but let's now re-explore that crop option now that we have this cool new way of adding color to a layer. So pressing C to bring up the crop tool, let's drag out that right edge, now it looks like we have a problem. Now I'll hit the tick mark, choosing OK, and fantastic, check it out. Photoshop has filled this entire layer with color because again, we're not actually painting pixels just here. The sole purpose of this guy just over here is to fill the entire layer with that color. So actually, let me hammer this point home. I'm just going to jump back to our first example just here. I'm just going to grab that layer and throw it away. So let's quickly repeat that process, just pressing V again to get rid of my crop handles. New solid color. Let's choose whatever we like. Here we go. So we've already seen guys, double click the thumbnail. We can easily change the color, but let's now test that crop option. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit just here. Pressing C, let's resize this document. And I'll commit that like so. Fantastic, our document, or rather the adjustment layer just here is automatically resizing to fill the entire layer with that color. If I turn the visibility of this layer off, clearly we've got ourselves a problem with the background layer. 
but that's something we can address in another video. So even though we've got this problem where all this background has been replaced with white, our solid color adjustment layer is doing a fantastic job and filling the layer with that color regardless of the document size. So that's it there guys, I hope that helps you with your filling of layers with color. Catch you later.